So guys, we learned earlier in this course about the three stressors in our life, chemical, physical, and emotional. So I wanna start off with chemical stress and really get you guys to become familiar with the not so friendly chemicals that sometimes end up in our bodies thanks to everyday skincare and beauty products. And I'm telling you, you might be surprised to know that some of these really big brand names that maybe you've been trusting, yeah, guys, they might not have your best interest at heart. So here's the deal. The conventional beauty products that you might be using right now can contain a cocktail of chemicals that really mess with your body. I want you to imagine it like this. Your skin is like a giant sponge and it is soaking up whatever it is you are putting on it. And a lot of these products, well, they can be filled with ingredients that sound like they belong in a science experiment rather than on your face and on your skin. Well, let me tell you this, guys. There is some science behind the skepticism. Research has linked certain chemicals in mainstream beauty products to a whole host of issues from skin irritations to hormone disruptions. And we're not just talking about small obscure studies here and there. There are major scientific research that has been sounding the alarm bells about the potential health risks associated with some of these chemicals. So I am going to break down just a couple of these really toxic chemicals. So first up guys, you need to become familiar with parabens. So parabens are synthetic preservatives found in various cosmetics and they been linked to hormone disruption, potentially messing with your endocrine system, which regulates crucial processes like metabolism and growth. And the General of Applied Doxicology published a study in 2004 called Concentration of Parabens in Human Breast Tumors. The study reported the detection of parabens commonly used as a preservative in cosmetics, like I mentioned, in human breast tumor tissue raising the concern about their potential role in breast cancer development. That is almost a decade ago, and yet it is still existing in so many different products today. Parabens are found in moisturizers, lotions, serums, and cleansers. And that's not all, cosmetics, including foundations, powders, eyeshadows, blush, hair care products, shampoo, conditioner, styling products. Watch out for this chemical. Look at the label when you are buying products and really just be aware of this toxic, toxic ingredient. Okay, the second chemical I want you guys to become familiar with is called phylates. Commonly used in fragrance products and phylates have been associated with reproductive issues and developmental concerns. Even when you don't see phylates on the label, they can hide under the term fragrance. How this is possible, I have no idea. This explored the potential association between phylate exposure and insulin resistance, which guys, this is a precursor to diabetes in adolescence. Watch out for that one. Okay, next up is formaldehyde. Yep, you heard me correct. The stuff that they use to preserve dead animals for biology class is also used in some beauty products as a preservative. And long-term exposure is a complete no-no because guys, it's classified as a human carcinogen, which means it could up your risk for cancer. And in a meta-analysis study done in mutation research in 2008, Eight, there is a potential link between formaldehyde exposure and leukemia. Due to its potential risk, I mean, some brands are moving away from it, but guys, you have to check the formulation. So what you want is to look for things, brands that are promoting three free, five free or 10 free, which indicates then that that product is free from harmful chemicals, including formaldehyde. All right, the next chemical I wanna introduce you guys to is called sodium lauryl sulfate, also known as SLS. And this one is often found in cleansers and shampoos because it's a foaming agent. But here's the thing, it can strip your skin of natural oils and lead to irritation. But it's also important to note that SLS is a hormone disruptor and it can cause really bad headaches and dizziness. So where else can you find this chemical? Well, brace yourself for this one, guys. 
because it's in toothpaste. SLS can be found in some toothpaste formulations to create that foam while you're brushing your teeth. And this completely compromises the integrity of the oral mucosa, really resulting in ulceration of soft tissues. And last up, guys, I want to tell you about toluene. And this is often lurking in nail polishes and breathing in its fumes or absorbing it through your skin can really mess with your nervous system. And it might even cause reproductive harm. Guys, this chemical is so toxic. It causes tiredness, confusion, euphoria, dizziness, headaches. Can't even believe I just said all of that. A study done in the Environmental Research Journal in 1997 found that exposure to low levels of this chemicals associated with subtle neural behavior alterations, including impairments in cognitive and motor functions. The results also suggested that even very low level exposure of this toluene chemical can have neurotoxic effects impacting the nervous system and leading to behavioral changes. It is crazy that 25 years ago, this study came out and now this is still around. I don't know how this is possible. So here's the million dollar question. Why are these chemicals in our products in the first place? Well, I wish I had a really good answer to that, but I guess the best is partly because the beauty industry isn't as tightly regulated as you might think. And here's where the plot thickens, guys. Regulations in the US and Europe are quite different. Europe they take a much more cautious approach. The EU has banned or restricted over 1,300 chemicals from cosmetics due to safety concerns. Compare that to the US, well, only about 30 chemicals are banned. Europe's approach is much more like, if there is a potential risk, then let's just play it safe. And in the US, well, they just say, prove it's harmful and then, We'll think about it. What does this mean for Americans then? Well, it means that Europeans might have a bit more peace of mind when it comes to their beauty products. If you're in Europe, you're less likely to find those potential harmful chemicals lurking in your skincare routine. But if you're in the US like I am, well then guys, you need to be more of a detective. You've got to be reading labels and using those handy apps to navigate through the beauty aisles. Really, please become aware of these ingredients and be your own advocate. So guys, this is why opting for certified organic or clean beauty products is like putting on armor to shield yourself from these toxic chemicals. Organic products are great. They're formulated with natural ingredients and they're derived from plants or other natural sources. Most of the time, these ingredients are free from synthetic chemicals, from pesticides, even GMOs, reducing the risk of potential harm to your skin and to your body. Products must meet specific certification standards that ensure that they meet certain criteria regarding ingredients, processing methods, and overall quality. But I do want to know that these standards can vary by region and by certifying body. So what that means, guys, is that not all products that are labeled, quote, organic are actually the same. So it is always a good practice to really read the ingredient list, read the labels, consider your own skin's unique needs. And I'd always just recommend performing a little patch test when you're trying out new products, especially if you have any allergies or sensitivities. You see, guys, what I want you to learn from this is it's all about making informed choices that align with your values and your well-being. And hey, I would say maybe it's time for the beauty industry on this side of the pond to take a punch from Europe's book and give us all a little bit more confidence in the products that we're putting on our skin. But until that happens, guys, you are responsible. You have to be your own advocate. But there are some really great apps that you can use that can really help you through this process and become aware of what is inside products. So you can download the apps like Yucca, there's EWG Healthy Living, just to name a few of them. And so these apps are really great because they allow you to scan the barcode or search for products to get a rating on their potential toxicity. And then we'll provide information about the ingredients in the products and their potential health impacts. And they also offer alternatives for safer products, which is really cool. So there you have it, my friends, the unfiltered truth about the chemicals that are so toxic that can be sneaking into our bodies 
through mainstream beauty products. You deserve nothing less than the best. So why not give yourself a little extra love, purchase organic and clean beauty products, take those stressors out of your life, out of your environment, off of your body. And I'm telling you from experience, it will make a difference. And I really, really hope that you choose to make that choice.